The glossy corporate video sold a dream of high-speed trains connecting the country, creating new transport arteries and links between cities. No sign of the spiralling costs for those who want to see HS2 scrapped. This metal recycling business in Birmingham is being forced to move to make way for an HS2 depot. People are being put through the mill because of them. Sleepless nights, stress, they're making people ill. They're refusing to move unless their relocation costs are met in full up front, which they're told won't happen. This site alone will cost the taxpayer millions. We cannot move until we have had a payment. When we've paid and we're happy, then we'll move. If they think we're going to move before, no chance. It's not just businesses impacted by HS2. Unconvinced homeowners on this estate in Yorkshire question the value of the public paying to demolish their homes. If there's all this money available, let's put it into the health service. Um, better education, better housing, where it's needed. Use it where it's needed. Do the right thing, Boris, and axe it. Construction on HS2 has started. Phase one between London and Birmingham is already underway and due to open in 2026. But phase two to Leeds and Manchester won't open until at least 2032. The latest official cost is almost £56 billion, but Boris Johnson believes it could eventually be £100 billion. More than £7 billion has already been spent, including buying 900 homes and businesses for £600 million. Just because you spent a lot of money on something should not mean that you just carry on ploughing more and more money into it. But what we've said, and what the Prime Minister made very clear during his leadership election, is you know we want to see great infrastructure in this country, but we want to see it stack up, we want to see it work for you know, rail commuters and people right across the country. Rail infrastructure has moved on since the days of steam trains, but has it now hit the buffers? Boris Johnson previously lent his support to HS2's opponents. If he bins it entirely, he risks infuriating many, especially outside of the South East. The North has, has not benefited from the same levels of investment as London and the South East have traditionally. Therefore, it's absolutely vital that they maintain the investment level in the North that, 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 that has been promised. Who knows exactly what is coming down the track? The government have said they will make a decision in the autumn. They face three choices. Approve, amend, or scrap it entirely. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Birmingham.